So you want to see progress on house hack? This is what a house looks like after 51 days of house hack being involved with it. But first, you got to understand what it looked like the first time around when we came through here and we saw the devil on the wall. And we saw trash everywhere, poop everywhere. It was disgusting. Look at the living room as you go in. There's furniture and garbage everywhere. Look at the nastiness of the kitchen or the restroom or even worse. Look upstairs at these bedrooms. Look at the bathrooms. This is gross. Nobody wants to live in this. Nobody wants to move in this. Well, I'm proud to say after we closed on this, after the end of August, it's been 51 days, and we're probably within about two weeks of having this property rented out. Let me take you around and show you a little bit of the touch up that we still have going on. These are some of the leftover things that just bother me that I want to see finished. So first of all, this was all weeded up. So we are going to paint this. So we get rid of the weed. Uh, leftover remnants that have sort of ripped off the paint from these walls. We want to have this all nice and consistent. So we'll give this a nice fresh new coat and the neighbors will love us too if we do this because this doesn't look that good because it used to be covered with plants that were all dead. So we got rid of those. Now this right here is still uh, some of the original from when we bought. We did add obviously the mulching here. We had to replace the holdups back here or the retaining wall back here, which we did. So you can see this is beautiful. It's a gorgeous new retaining wall. What I'd like to do is paint that retaining wall to match this pressure treated or at least match this fence just so we take what looks old and start making it look new. But this is beautiful with the pebbles here already and the new retaining wall. Maybe we'll throw a little bit of mulch over here and really clean this up. But absolutely gorgeous work on the retaining wall. Let's go inside. So as you walk in, you can see we've got flooring down. We don't have the carpet down yet. Paint is done. We've got the new hardware in. We've got uh, the doors painted. We've got new hardware on the doors, new hinges over here. Still some things to do. Property isn't completely done, but we've already worked in new light fixtures. Some small things that I want to do. I don't really love this tile, but it's not worth reglazing this tile. But this gold, we can really make a big difference here. We're going to mask this off with tape. We're gonna black bronze spray paint this. You gotta clean it first though, otherwise the spray paint won't last. Sometimes you can even steal wool it a little bit. Doesn't take long. Most of the work is in the prep. That's actually generally true when it comes to painting. And so we're gonna black bronze the gold and that'll look really nice. That'll really clean this up. And then all of a sudden the tile won't be as much of a statement. See the tile actually looks worse because it's next to the gold. When this is next to the black bronze, it'll look just fine. Already done the new flooring. We got the thresholds over here. We've got to get the two inch faux wood blinds. Those are going to be coming in. Windows will be get cleaned as well once we're out of here and everything's nice and clean. We got our new light fixture here. We've got our kitchen here. Gorgeous, a white countertop, gray cabinets. We've got the hardware. Garage still needs to be painted being used as trash storage right now, stainless appliances. So pretty gorgeous. I mean, much better than what this was. Really functional kitchen now, functional space, good appliances, clean property. Uh, we've got a new faucet over here in the bathroom. Got to throw in a mirror and a couple of toilet bolts, which the toilet bolts are sitting there. This is all part of, hey, got a couple weeks left. Obviously, there's still stuff to do. Uh, but it's nice to see some good progress here. And quite frankly, in 51 days, done a lot of great work out here. Touch up paints, obviously gonna come to touch up the rails after the carpet folks kick in their carpet. There'll be some nicks to my baseboard as well. I expect that totally fine, totally normal. We've got one more light fixture to throw in over here. I still see the uh, smoke detectors that we had originally. I'm going to replace those with new. Uh, and then I, it drives me nuts when these stay dirty. So once carpet's done and we're doing touch of paint, we're going to get this cleaned. Actually, maybe we'll take this down and clean it right before the carpet goes in. If we look at the bathroom over here, we've uh, done a special type of glazing on this bathroom, which is really exciting. Got to clean all the windows and that. Take a look at this. This countertop is actually glazed, which is remarkable because it looks gorgeous. Really great job. We got the new light fixtures in here. A little bit of cleanup here, obviously, as we reinstall some of this cabinet hardware, which was here, which we decided to keep for the master closet. But otherwise, we've got what look like brand new countertops, cabinets, uh, faucets, sinks, beautiful new light fixtures, hardware, bathroom in the shower, very functional over here some parts to change out. What we're going to do is we're going to bronze the uh, tub flow and the tub controls. 
So that'll get solved and this whole space will look brand spanking new. Uh, we are doing carpet upstairs, which I know some people are like, oh, why, why do carpet? So what we decided to do is go with a little bit of a combo where we have the flooring we're using downstairs in the bathrooms and laundry, and we're gonna do carpet in the bedrooms and hall. Some people have a preference for that, for comfort. And it's also about one fourth the cost. So we're going with that because we could always change out a rug. It's not that big of a deal. And the extra cost it would have taken to do more of this for another maybe 800 square feet here just wasn't worth it for this project. We're not gonna get that extra value back. So we're really matching our rental competition here. And that's totally okay. Always have to look at what your competition is doing. Some markets you go into, you're not even going to replace the hardware to brown or bronze hardware. You're just going to leave the gold hardware. You'll even leave the brown doors because that's what the competition is. But we like to go in, same kind of standard, uh, same plan for a light fixture, switches, you name it. So uh, that's this project. Now let's talk numbers. Now before we hit numbers, I gotta say, I love the combination of rock and mulch, especially you put the weed barrier down. It's so low maintenance. It's so easy to add some new mulch in the future to freshen up, add a few extra bags of rocks if you need. And we were thinking about replacing this, but then I got to the idea of thinking, you know what, what we should do is just paint this. It looks pretty cute, looks like a birdhouse. Give it a nice little sand, spray paint it, be pretty cool as a mailbox. So we're gonna keep this, we're gonna touch it up a little bit. Now, when it comes to numbers, here's the deal. We're gonna be into this project for about $511,000. Now, when we bought the project, we were thinking comps might be somewhere between 610 to 630 because that's where they were sitting. We've started to see comps move a little closer to the 600 to 610 range, but that still leaves us a $90,000 budget on this property that we're probably going to be rent ready for within 60 days. That's not too shabby. We think we can do this at scale. That's why you wanna learn more by going to househack.com, read the offering circular. And as this market gets a little soft in this winter, we think we're gonna be able to get wedges that easily average out to $100,000 over and over again, if not more. Because once snow starts falling in some of these northern climates, sellers who are selling, they're gonna be walking away and we're gonna get some nice wedges. Now the cool thing is, as part of that renovation on the other house you just saw, we're in now a different house which here's what it looked like before. Notice the trash everywhere, how nasty the kitchen was, the water leak that was in the ceiling, how horrible the garage was, given that it had its own grow room in there. This is where we've gotten so far. Now this project closed about four weeks later. So it's about four weeks behind. And as you can see, there's still a little bit of trash around, but that's okay, ultimately, we're actually pretty nicely progressed. The countertops are in, the cabinet pane has been done, the flooring's been done downstairs, appliances need to come in, plumbing fixtures need to come in, and so obviously and some electrical work needs to be done. So there's definitely still work to do here, but we are vastly progressed compared to where we were when we closed on this property. And remember, this one's about four weeks behind. It's only about four minutes from the last one, and this deal, closed for about $21,000 less than the other deal. Now, just two streets over from the last house we were in is this property. It's within 200 square feet. It's listed for $635,000. That's almost $200,000 more than we paid for the other property in essentially the same neighborhood. This is exciting. Now, again, this one's a little bit larger, but we think we're doing a great job of finding wedge deals and we could not be more excited about the deals that we're doing and how we're scaling our OPEX because we wanna make sure we minimize those costs for our investors. Now, no guarantees, obviously we are a startup, so anything can happen, but go read more. Go read the offering circular at househack.com. Learn more about what it is we're doing, how we plan to take properties and turn them into mini funds and basically, create cash flow. That's our goal. Our goal is to create cash flow. The attorney always comes and says, Gavin, 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 remember, we can't guarantee cash flow. We can't guarantee. I'm not making guarantees. This is just the vision and it's what I'm going to be doing full time for, I see myself doing this for at least the next 10, 20 years because I've already been doing this for the last 10 years. I love doing this. I enjoy it. I walk comps. I walk my properties. I teach. I grow my teams. That's how we're going to scale house hack eventually nationwide.
Congratulations, man. You have done so much. People love you. People look up to you. Which I say, yes, meet Kevin. Where does this mean we are in the economic cycle? Should we be thinking about buying real estate? Should we be thinking about buying stocks? I have a background in real estate as a real estate agent, real estate broker, real estate investor, a stock market investor, and fund manager. Why not advertise these things that you told us here? We'll, we'll try a little advertising and see how it goes. Always great to have you on Kevin Pafra, there, financial analyst and YouTuber, meet Kevin.